Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to actually show you guys how you can be able to solve this problem of your local digs, you know, showing this red. And what does it mean? It means it's actually crazily filled up. Okay, so waking up one morning, I actually getting to see that your local digs is actually, you know, showing 19 gigabytes out of 256 gigabytes that we have. It's something that none of us like the windows users want to wake up to see so in this video i actually put up a method or my strategy to make sure that both the windows 10 users and the windows 11 users would actually be able to solve this problem with ease okay so the first thing you need to do is to go to the description of this video and actually download this um software called disk savvy when, when you click on the description you will see the link there this is the link. This is going to be the link. So make sure you download this um, software. Okay. So this software is actually going to be something uh, like this. Let me just go ahead and put that right there. So this is what it's going to look like here, guys. So actually, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that my storage right now is 19 gigabytes out of 207 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and clean this up. Click on Dick Savvy open it up and once the application is opened up we have the uh, we have the um opportunity to actually run uh we have the ability to actually um analyze you just go ahead and click on analyze i've actually analyzed my um system before and i i found out that majority of the of the things that are eaten of my storage is actually from my CapCut couch okay i'm just going to go ahead and just um analyze this one more time but i think my the one i did previously um actually save it up or i don't know how to locate it but for the sake of this video and for the sake of those of, those of you that will be doing it for the very first time i'm just going to go ahead and just click on analyze okay and it's going to ask us what directory do we want to analyze and guys i'll actually advise you to analyze the whole drive like for instance as you can see mine i'm actually trying to analyze my drive c because from here you can see that my local disk c is the one with the problem so if you have multiple um multiple local disk make sure you analyze them you can you can analyze them one after the other which um will be much more better so that you can get to know which file on this local disk but by the way this um software actually does a very great job to partition these things very very well so go ahead and just click on this plus icon here when you click on this plus ask icon it's going to show you um where you can actually get to like um you can add some directly directory i'm actually going to go go ahead and just add um, an input directory and then i've added my drive c then i can click on analyze so to, to, so to do that you can actually add multiple but i prefer to do it one after the other so i can add all the computer hard drives so when you click on that it's going to actually add your drive uh, C and maybe if you have multiple drives it's going to show like maybe drive C drive D you can go ahead and right click and delete the one you don't want at that moment okay so once you've done that go ahead and just click on analyze and it's going to actually take some time maybe five to ten minutes depending on the depending on you know, the files that, that is on that particular drive so as you can see my system actually does what it's meant to do and it's going to actually take some time i'm actually going to pause this video here and then continue once this analysis has been completed to show you guys exactly which directory which folder which file is actually taking up majority of my space because mainly looking at this just from the file explorer you might not be able to get to you know pinpoint exactly where or which folder is actually taking up the most of your storage. But by using this disk savvy, it's actually going to do a very great job for you guys to, you know, get to check out what's actually taking up your space. So I'm going to come back once this is actually completed. Okay, guys. So as you can see right now, after after the whole um, analysis, you can see that we have uh, completed the analysis right now. And as you can see, we have um, 461,000 um files and it's actually um taking up 208 gigabytes 
So as you can see from here, the top, you can see that um, under our user, this is taking up 68% of the whole um, space, which is around 142 gigabytes. So I'm actually going to focus more on, on this part because it's taking up majority of the whole space. So when I double click on this, double click to go into it and then click on up to go back. So let's just take note of that. Okay. Double click on users. And from here, you can see that, um, you can see that this, uh, partition, all uh, this, uh, part is actually taking up 99.99% guys. So when I click on it, it's going to actually bring us to this part. And as you can see right now, um, the app, the app data is actually taking up 77% while the games pictures are taking up, um, the remaining part. So let's go ahead and just click on the one that's taking up more space. So from here right now, you can see that the local click on it and you can see that CapCut is actually taking up 85% guys. So from here right now, you can see that Google Chrome is actually taking up 9.5 gigabyte. I'm going to just leave Google Chrome because, um, I don't want to mess with that part because I have a lot of extension downloaded there and let's focus on CapCut, which is just about videos. And I'm, I'm sure that majority of the file on, on there most have, might be, or should be um files that i'm that i've done with so let's go ahead and click on it so after doing my research i found out that um CapCut actually tries to save every single um video um file or it just tries to keep uh bad uh, it tries to keep couch of majority of all the videos that you try to edit that's crazy okay so from here you can see that the user the user data is actually taking up 68 um gigabyte so when i click on that right now and you can see here that there is an option called catch. When you click on that, you can see this part called agency catch. So when I click on agency catch, and now you can see that all these are video files. These are just couch guys. These are, these files actually have no use. They have no use, but to be on the safe side, I would advise you to try to like open up the video one after the other and then try to delete them one after the other okay so this one actually i have i have reviewed this video this one at the top that's taking up 11 gigabytes and guys i don't need this video i don't need this video is like an old video that i have done way back and it just tends to keep that in my couch i'm just gonna go ahead and just right click on this and just delete it because i don't need it one selected file will be deleted. Are you sure you want to do that? Of course, I want to do that. Delete. So now the operation has been successful, guys. So let's go back to our file explorer and try to like refresh. You can see that's one gigabyte of storage now. So let you can go back here and just try to do this over and over again. Okay. So you can just try to like make sure you navigate all these uh, files. Make sure you find the one that is not useful. So upon checking up all these things here, guys, I'm sure that you will find a majority of the file that you don't need to delete. I'm going to show you guys one more thing that you can do to like actually uh, clear up your space. Maybe after deleting all this, it might end up in your, um, in your recycle bin. So all you need to do right now is to go over to the, this part, right? Click on it, click on run, and then just type in exactly what you see here. Percent temp percent. Click on OK. It's going to open up something in your file in your file explorer. All right. So once you actually run that um, prompt, it's actually going to bring you here, guys. So all you need to do is just to make sure that you copy all this file here and make sure you actually select all. You can check the properties and know how many um, uh, file size is actually taken up. If you're doing it for the first time, the file size might shock you okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and just click on okay and just try to permanently delete and do not delete to your recycle because it's gonna add up to your space so permanently delete that and yes some of the files here might not be able to delete in most cases and it's actually fine okay so from here right now go over to um your disk you can refresh this you can see a little bit added right click on your local disk click on properties click on disk cleanup 
and then make sure you actually check all these because bring this over here make sure you actually check on all these you can see um sometimes your windows update is actually going to make sure it leaves a remnant file here so make sure you actually check on all these click on clean up system files and it's going to actually run a little uh, scan after doing that if you're doing it for the first time this will take a very long time so you can see that you can see right now that um we can see right now that only 322 megabytes is actually on the disk cleanup so if you're doing this for the first time you might actually get to see that your windows upgrade log file is actually maybe something like 24 gigabytes which is going to be an extra um storage for you so just go ahead and just click on ok and delete all these files totally safe to delete it it's going to actually take a long time if you have a larger file just right there to clean up but as you can see mine is going to take less than two to three minutes um okay so without wasting much time this is going to just going to be another part for you guys to just explore trying to clean up your space i'm actually going to go ahead and just pause this video and just try to like delete a lot of files and show you guys how much space i recovered okay all right everyone so as you can see right now we have 99 gigabytes free so guys <laughs> this is actually amazing because it, this house big savvy tends to show us um places that we have large files even without trying to like be you know shady about anything is actually going to show you what exactly what it is this is how i go about mine let's say for instance i actually get to want to clear up like let's go back to like the cap cut yeah you can see right now so from here right now you can see that we have something in the local and as you can see cap cut is actually having to take a very massive uh, storage all you need to do is just to make sure you locate um this part because trying to select everything right from here would not be an option so go to your file explorer and locate this port user and then the name of this partition and then the updater local and then cap cut so once you do that it should look something it should look like something like uh this it should look like something like this so from here right now you can see that this is where cap cut is so when i click on cap cut you can see that we're in the same part and then user data so when i click on the user data this is a, this is going to be everything and then the couch and agency couch this is the part i have emptied it already that's why okay so from here right now you can just go ahead and just try to like you know try to look for the files that you believe you will not be using in the long run so that's how to go about it guys all right if you enjoyed this video if this video brought value if this video helped you guys try to subscribe to the channel because is the only way you can be able to stay connected and you know get to see more future content from this youtube channel stay safe guys and peace out